really scared initially when the whole thing started. That's the voice thing. that I heard so clear he told me that do it with the fear. That don't worry. And again, we do. Hi, people. Good morning. This is Gucci Claire Flavor. In this channel, we appreciate everything that God is doing in our lives. And yes, we see His faithfulness and we count our blessings one by one and we give Him the glory. No matter what we see in life, we see it as a blessing because everything worked together for our good and we got this revelation from romans chapter 8 verse 28 yes we believe that everything worked together for our good and yes everything indeed worked together for our good in this channel you know god has been so very faithful and because we appreciate god and we see his faithfulness in everything we do we actually see his faithfulness in everything we do you know, um, recently I lost my mom and um, we actually put her body in the mortuary. Then uh, we had to kind of transfer her, her body to the village for the final, you know, burial ceremony and every other thing that we did. And, you know, when I was going through all that, I now got a call from school. Right now, you can see behind me. Yes, behind me, just, I'm in a school environment now. You know, I came back from Benue yesterday and I just had to kind of uh, rush to school because I got a, a call when when I was um, doing her, you know, when we were doing her barrier arrangement, I got a call that, yes, um, that my exam has started, which is um, yesterday, and I have a paper today. So I just have to be in school today now to write my paper. And I was supposed to write two papers but um, I had to rush to, to school. The paper was for 9 o'clock, so I came to school before 9. But I made a call, and when I came, I didn't see my colleagues, as in my classmates. And I called, and they now told me that the, the paper that I was supposed to have for 9 has been shifted to another time, which I cannot tell. But I was given an information that I still have another paper by 2, right? Yeah, 2 by 2. So I'm going to the library now to read because I've not even read anything guys yes I've not read anything so I'm going to the library to read at least for some few minutes few hours before the exam start by two so um I just want to thank God for his faithfulness he has been so very faithful for the burial arrangement everything went well you know we kind of bury her successfully and um, we took her to our father's land which is of Ante, and you saw all the videos you know that we posted it has been an amazing journey i don't have a help i had to go with my husband with three children and hobby was so very helpful this time around and i really appreciated him for everything he did as in he was really really handy i had to kind of leave the children with him to be able to run around and do everything on my part that i'm supposed to do and you know no one that to say two are better than one i saw that you know that prophecy come to pass in my life, you know, two are actually better than one. Because with him, without the help, you know, I don't really feel it that I have three children and a bear and a mother to bury and all the stuff. So I just want to, you know, I started this, uh, I was kind of wondering, how will I be able to kind of um, do this burial stuff and all that? But I was scared, guys. I was, guys, I was really scared initially when the whole thing started. That how would this be possible with children, you know, carrying my mom from the mortuary to the village, and then all those village traditional stuff. You know about it. We're Africans. You know about it. I think you saw some of the videos too. What they made us to do, you know, and all that. You know, using leaves to touch my mother's, uh, you know, casket, saying all that. Boy, I, initially when it all started, I was kind of scared. I'm not joking. I was really scared. But you know, the Holy Spirit said something to me and said, do it with the fear. Yeah, that's the voice that I heard so clear. He told me that do it with the fear, that don't worry. And again, we drove all the way to Benue, you know, in our car. And we've never put the car to that kind of a text. And on our way going, the journey was smooth. On our way coming to the journey was smooth. So I did all this with the fear. Even the money. <laughs> At the point I was just like, you know, God has a way of fixing things. Do you know? That money stuff is another thing entirely to talk about. You understand? I did not run a head, 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 head
Kata. Or how do they speak that English? I can't, I don't know again. But I did not run around, you know, looking for monies and all that kind of uh, pay bills and, and all that. You know, the money was there. I kind of uh, pull it out and, you know, though the money was for another project, but this project is more important. So I pulled the money out and we use it to, to the barrier. And that was it. So guys, what am I trying to say? When you're about when you're about to start a project and you're kind of uh, scared that it could not work, do it with the fear. Yes, go into that project and do it with the fear, and it will amaze you how the result will come out at the end of the day. Yes, because you find out that as you are into it, doing it, doing it, the fear will just be releasing itself and going and going. At the end of the day, you are done with it. And you know the God, the glory goes back to God, and that's what happened with this journey that I went to, to go and bury my moon. And now I got a call; they told me that exam is here. And boy, I'm so scared. What will I write in this exam right now? What? What do you think I'll be able to write? Because I didn't read Jack. But I'm doing it with a fear. I'm going to go into the exam hall after reading for a few hours. I'm going to go in, and I know the Holy Spirit will still take charge. The Holy Spirit will still take charge. I'll write my exam, I'm doing my PhD exam and I can just, I cannot just fail. I know that. I just know that God will fix things for me. So I'm going to write the exam and I'm going to come back successfully. So this is it guys. We've done the barrier. We've done everything. We've taken my mom to her father's land in Kogi State of Ante and buried her. And now I'm back to Abuja to face my studies. And as you can see, I'm in school right now. I'm going to the library to read because I have a Zan by two. And I'm going to kind of, uh, you know, go and settle down and read. And then, <laughs> good morning, sir. And then, you know, go and write my exam. So I'm so very grateful. You know, this channel is about giving glory to God for everything he has done. And indeed, God has been faithful. If no, if I don't know better, I know better now that just trust God. Anything is possible. Well, this is Gitche Claire Flavors. This is Gitche Claire's Flavors. Give me a thumbs up. Say something. How do you see the video? You know, I saw the vanity of life. Yes, vanity of life, bearing my mom. Because, yes, it's really, really amazing that everything you work for will just end like that. So now I'm taking life easy. Taking life easy. And just every minute. Every day. The things that I have. And I'm going to enjoy them to the fullest. Every day, every second, every hour, and every minute. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. But right now, I know I'm videoing and I'm talking to you. So that's the most important thing to me right now. So thank you very much. Come back for more videos like this. Yes, because we post videos from time to time. You know, come back and watch more of this kind of videos. And don't forget, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. Give me thumbs up. Comment. Comment. What do you think? Let's talk. What do you think concerning my, you know, my mom's barrier? How do you see the video? How did it go? Did you learn anything? Just say something and let's talk. Let's keep talking for your family and we're building a community. I love you guys so much. Mwah. Love you guys so, so much. Today is really turning on me. Today is the last day of my paper and I'm going to write it. Now I wrote two papers today and I'm going to write the last one. Now this is almost two. And it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Well, I'm just leaving the library now to go and write my final paper. And honestly, I'm not finding it funny. When I get this PhD certificate, I'm going to cherish it. Because today, I feel like collapsing as a headache. Everything. I wrote statistics today, and I'm going to write sociology of knowledge today. And it's not funny. Not funny. You know, from my mother's barrier straight to example oh i'm taking care of children i don't have the maid my maid left me and it's just nothing subscribe to this channel if it's not and give me things that's why i write the final exam well this is a channel of appreciation i thank god i'm writing my final coursework today i'm so grateful for that let's go and write the final paper thank you living the language
Hello guys. Hello everybody. I broke down. Yes, I broke down after the barrier and then um went for exam immediately. When we got back from the village straight to the exam hall. I broke down. I'm in the hospital right now. I just took my injection and I still have another one tomorrow. Yeah. But I have um that you know it's not just kind of feeling myself, it's just so very down and then yeah, thank you. Oh, yeah, the doctor is now on the right now. But maybe you can add the nurse. But the, no, the nurse is there. Yes. Um, so, sorry, I, I was saying I broke down seriously. So, the stress was just my body, at the point my body could not take it and my body reacted. Yeah. So I'm kind of, um, I came, I took space um, um, with her here too, because that's where my picture has been. Yeah, HMO, I want my colleague, NHIS. That's where it is. And I did test, the result came out yesterday, and they said I have a I have, um, I don't like using the word I have, but I saw three counts malaria. Then I have uh, the, the side of my blood, I have low blood, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know what it is. Then I did scanning. Anyway, guys, I'm recuperating right now. And I just came to take my injection because I have, um, I'm treating the malaria and some. Um, Getting better right now, but I still have to be in the hospital tomorrow again for the last injection. So I broke down after the stress of my mother's barrier and then exam and then the driving, the children, organizing and everything. My body couldn't take it. So that's it guys. Subscribe to this channel, give me console, yeah, comment, say something, you know, comment, yeah. Oh. Uh, we talk. Mm, love you guys so, so much. And I keep telling myself and I tell anybody that is in this community, you are special. If there's nobody else in this world telling you that you're special, you have me telling you that you're special. Very, very special. And know that you are. You're very, very special, and you're unique, and you're one of a kind, and I love you dearly. Bye. Mwah.